Welcome to Vyond Podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we explore the grand dream of space colonies and why it never left the ground. Building a space colony complete with everything humans need seems like a piece of science fiction. Today, we see such concepts only in movies. Elon Musk wants to go to Mars, but nobody is talking about building a place high above Earth for humans where they can live just like they do on the blue planet. However, space colonies came extremely close to becoming a reality in the 1970s. According to a BBC report, a scientist named Dr. Gerard Kitchen O'Neill prepared a detailed report of giant orbiting habitats as Earth underwent an environmental crisis. His plans included three kilometer long colonies where tens of thousands of people could live in green areas. He even presented the report to American senators prepared almost 50 years ago at NASA's Ames Research Center. O'Neill got the idea from a computer simulation called World 3 and the 1972 book written by a team of analysts at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT. The researchers stated that Earth cannot sustain a growing population in the long run. He proposed the use of recycled products in these colonies and put all industries and energy-producing units in space to end the problem of pollution on Earth. O'Neill came up with three types of space colonies. Island 1 would be a rotating sphere located near the equator, and the colonies would grow with each generation. The second was the Stanford Taurus, similar to the giant wheel-shaped stations we often see in sci-fi movies. It would support about 10,000 people, with flying mirrors reflecting sunlight. The third station was the most ambitious one. Called Island 3, it would comprise two cylinders, each 32 km long and 6 km in diameter. Both would rotate in the opposite direction to maintain the right orientation to the sun. A three-land and three-window pattern inside the cylinders would help create day and night. It would rotate 40 times to create gravity like on Earth. People would occupy a large land area, while all the food would be produced in an outer ring. He first wanted to build a colony where humans could live and create a non-polluting power system for Earth. He proposed building giant arrays to harness solar energy and convert it into a microwave beam, which would be further turned into electricity. The U.S. Senate Subcommittee on Aerospace Technology and National Needs was presented with the idea in 1976, and the group termed it feasible. However, the problem came down to a launch vehicle. Besides, NASA was not equipped to build a space colony. O'Neill wanted to use the space shuttle, which hadn't even taken its first trip. Analysis were conducted to test its feasibility, but nothing materialized, and it later retired. Can humans go back to the drawing board and build space colonies over 50 years after it was first proposed, especially with climate change and global warming becoming a real threat? Thanks for tuning into this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.